Winona LaDuke. And let me get to business right away because I know how passionately Winona feels about the environment. So let me begin by just making a simple and straightforward point. As I go around the country, what I have said as a member of the Senate Environmental Committee and the Senate Energy Committee, climate change is real. Climate change is caused by human activity and climate change is already doing devastating harm in our country and all over the world. Now, I don't know what my Republican colleagues are smoking, <laughs> but they go around the country and they say, well, you know, climate change is a hoax. It is not real. And it is a very dangerous thing for a nation when you reject science. I will not reject science. And what the scientific community is telling us is that as serious and dangerous as the situation is today, it will only get worse in the coming years if we do not get our act together and transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energy. As all of you know better than I do, right here in Minnesota, the oil company Enbridge has proposed, has proposed a series of pipelines to carry oil across the state. <laughs> the first, as you know, is called Sandpiper, and it would carry 640,000 barrels per day of fracked oil. The second project is a pipeline just like the Keystone Pipeline. And let me tell you, I was one of the leaders in opposition to the Keystone Pipeline. And this pipeline running through Minnesota is called the Alberta Clipper, and that would bring 800,000 barrels per day of some of the dirtiest oil being excavated in the world. Now, President Obama said that when his administration was reviewing the Keystone Pipeline, that he wouldn't approve it if it made climate and our planet more dangerous. It wouldn't, he wouldn't approve that if he could make the point that um, the emissions from the entire project would add to climate change. Those are exactly the same standards that we need to apply to the Alberta Clipper and the Sandpiper, and that is what I would do as President of the United States. For me, the bottom line for me, I've got four kids and seven grandchildren, and our moral responsibility is to make sure that we leave this planet in a way that is healthy and habitable to future generations. The bottom line for me is that fossil fuel companies cannot wreck our planet for their short-term profits. During the last 10 months, our campaign, with your help and the help of millions of Americans, has come a very, very long way. 